Welcome to LiveView Studio 2.0. This is a major step up for LiveView Studio for many reasons. In terms of our live multicam toolset, we now have frame accurate switching between multiple sources according to SEI timing data. We have ISO recording for up to six sources in your LiveView Studio engine. And we also have our brand new instant replay mode for up to four live sources. A new robust tool set for live multicam event production, as well as a brand new user interface. So let's dive in. We've revamped the user interface and also added configurability and flexibility to give the operator an exact layout of how they'd like to work during a live production. So as you can see, we can now resize the program and preview windows. If you have a lot of elements in the bottom of your project, you can resize it to display more sources in your production layers and minimize program and preview. If you want more area for your program and preview windows, you can easily resize them just like that. We also now allow you to resize the layers in the control room so I can expand and compress layers. So I have my live sources here in the bottom and I want to see exactly what's coming in. And I want to make it easier to click on the sources for live switching. We also make it very simple for operators to grab and rearrange layers in terms of the hierarchy. Lastly, we also allow them to hide and reveal layers. So if you're not using something and want to buy back some space in your production layers, you can easily hide it and essentially give the operator complete control and flexibility of what they're seeing in the control room and enable them to work how they like to work. The next thing we've done is add preview and program logic to each and every tile within the LiveView Studio control room. So live sources, replay tiles, graphics, all have a green area and a red area that allows you to load them into preview or program. So if I wanna hot switch my sources directly into program, which I will with these two live cameras here, I can simply press on the red side of those layers. But if I wanna load something into the preview window before I take it to program, which I do with this media clip in my player here, I'll press the green side, which loads it into the preview side. I can look and see where I'm gonna play that from and then use a transition right here in our transition block to take that to air. So this applies for each and every source in the control room, including my two box template. If I hit the red side on the two box template, it'll take it directly to air. So this gives operators pinpoint control of what they're doing during a live production and can either add speed when switching quickly between live cameras during a game or allow the operator to preview what they're going to do before taking it to program. Another huge feature enhancement we have for LiveView Studio is the introduction of replay mode. We've added additional storytelling tools for live sports production right into the LiveView Studio UI. And we provided an easy way for operators to change between live switching and fast turnaround instant replay. It is extremely easy to enter replay mode. I simply hit the R button on the keyboard or press the replay mode button in the top left of the screen. Once I do that, it loads all of my live recordings right at the top of my production layers. It allows me to hop back a pre-configured amount of seconds, so I can do plus five, minus five, minus 10, plus 10, or I can also drag this playhead and immediately get to the frame I wanna show. And it also shows me all of my angles at the same exact time code, which makes playing back multi-angle sequences easier than ever. So if we park here right before that pitch happens, I can go over to my T-bar and quickly select what speed I wanna play this out at. We'll start at 100%, and then I can take my replay to air using my transition button here in the middle of the screen. Now at any point, I can slow the action down in real time by moving the T-bar. And then when I'm done with my replay, I can load my live camera into preview and take that back to air. So as you can see, we quickly and easily went from our live production into replay mode, played the replay back, and now we're back out again into our live show. We've also introduced the ability to not only do replay directly from the program or production layers, but also from the media bin drawer. So from previous studio releases, you know that the media bin here holds all of our clips and playlists that we're gonna play out during the show. We've now also introduced a replay tab to that bin. So if you don't have the same operator live switching and doing replays during your live show, 
you can have one operator or director switching here in the production layers and another person logged on using the replay view here in the media bin. And it's all the same tool set, so I can quickly go back to any frame within the recording. This is an amazing tool if you have a larger production which requires many people who are working in dedicated areas such as replay and audio mixing and video switching. It gives an operator a standalone view of that replay tool set and allows them to instantly integrate and collaborate with others in the live production. So as you can see, there's multiple ways to access replay mode within Live View Studio. We've tried to make the replay and playback workflows as seamless and intuitive as possible for operators to tell really compelling live stories during their multicam live sports productions. There are many new and upgraded tools in Live View Studio and even more to come. So get a free trial of Live View Studio today. We look forward to hearing from you.